So uh, let's go through these questions and I will give my answers. A caption can be associated with the figure element by inserting a fig caption inside it. True. This element is a generic container, already I'm thinking div, for flow content, which does not inherently represent anything. It can be used to group elements for styling purposes using the class or ID attributes or because they share attribute values. It should be used only when no other semantic element, such as article or nav, is appropriate. That's a div, baby. Use this tag for sidebars, inserts, advertisements, the biography of the author, and related links on a blog. That's an aside. When deciding between article and section, if something can stand on its own, use the article element. That's true. Use this tag for the top area of a document, article, or section. Header. Do not use the section element as a generic container. This is what div is for, especially when the sectioning is only for styling purposes. True. Straight out documentation. Use this tag for the bottom area of a document, article, or section. Footer. Uh, these tags structure content on a page by topic and importance. Headings, H1 through H6. Sections can contain multiple articles. True. The footer element often has a list of links that don't need to be in a nav element. That's true. Articles can contain multiple sections. That's true. <laughs> the element, uh, this element encloses contact information related to its nearest article or body ancestor. In the latter case, it applies to the whole document. Uh, address. This tag is for a thematic grouping of content. That would be section. And if you weren't able to find that, you could just go like this, search, and uh, MDN, and there it is, thematic grouping of content section. Woohoo! Not all links within a document must be in a nav element. True. Article and section typically contain a heading H1 through H6. True. Use this tag to enclose an area that may contain some or all of the following. Information about the author, copyright data, links to related documents. Use this. I got to read that again. I'm getting tired. Use this tag to enclose an area that may contain some or all of the following information about the author, copyright data, links to related documents. You know, I'm like 90% certain that's footer because I wrote these a long time ago, but I just want to see. And uh, MDN. Information about the author, copyright data, links to related documents. Sweet. You can use this tag to enclose any of the following. Image, illustration, diagram, code snippet. That would be a figure. This tag surrounds content that could be placed somewhere else and stand on its own. Article. This element encloses the main content in the body. Main. There can only be one of these tags per document, and the tag is for the primary content. Main. <laughs> You'd use this tag uh, for a forum post, a magazine, or a newspaper or article, blog entry, user review, an object, or any other independent item of content. Article. Uh, this is an article. This tag is intended for a block of major navigation links. Nav. N-A-V. Nav. <clears throat> a document may have several nav elements. True. Wah, wah, wah. All right. There are my answers to those questions.